want you to get the governor housing on there and the fork actually touching that thrust washer so all that should work fine. I'm going to turn my attention to this part here. This is a little sight glass that my friend Rob reconditioned for us. That's the oil pump that supplies the oil at high pressure into the steam line. I'm going to take this off and get a close up shot of it. Inside of here there's a glass, a sight glass. And inside of the sight glass is a very thin wire. Now I've been told that the glass should be filled with water and as the oil comes up you can watch the droplets of oil travelling up the wire, that's what it's for. I'll get a close up shot, see if you can see the wire and then I'm going to try and get some water into it. I've already had it apart and tried to pour water in, totally unsuccessful. So I'm going to try and use my boiler water feed pump or my boiler pressure test pump to pump some water into there. Right, hopefully you can see the black line running down the centre of there, that's actually a little bit of thin wire that goes in the port at the bottom. So I'll try and find a union to fit onto here and see if I can force fill this with water and then we can run the engine on compressed air and see if we can actually see it working. Right, the threads on there are 8th BSP, so that fits onto there. And that's an 8th BSP to a quarter BSP adapter, which will fit into me test pump. Right, just coupled up to the feed pump, and you can see the little fine wire in there. We'll try pumping some water through it. We've got a little bit of a leak there because it's a, a tape I've fitting, and I haven't got any tape on it. It's just got to overcome the resistance of the one way valve in there. Not much happening here. Right, there is water going in there. Unfortunately, the water's cloudy because, because it's a bastard. Right, I'll have to try and seal these pipe joints that are pissing water out. No good at all, that. Right, I think we've stopped all the, the leaks now. I pump some water through so the water starts to run clear, which it's doing there. And that's taking 100 psi to get the water up past the check valve. So we're now we've got clear water inside the glass, and we can indeed see the little needle. So if I put this onto the engine now and run it, hopefully I'm going to be able to. See the oil bubbles going up there? We'll screw the pump back into place. That port there is actually full of oil. Because it would stop at one side, wouldn't it? Right, see the side glass there. I'll start the engine up and bring the camera in a little bit closer and then hopefully we can see what goes on. This is special oil formulated for superheated steam. Real thick sticky stuff it is lovely. I'll throw the inlet port. I used to lubricate the piston and the valves. It's a very, very slow feel on the pump. It'll take a while for it to start the pump oil. I don't circulate on the engine because I go in there, that's I mean cranky as I push up. That's just looking on the on the oil pump here. See that oil coming out of it. 
exhaust port on the engine. Now you can start the pump oil because we've got water coming over there. It'll pump the water out. It's actually a chubby here until that first control of oil comes up and the oil will be above the water because the oil floats on water. This will take a while where it is lifting. Definitely lifting oil. I think there you can see the oil is actually holding onto the needle. Right, that's definitely oil going up there, you can see it rising up. That's absolute technology. It's sure old but it's sure it's sure work, it's wonderful. I think it's wonderful. So that's the oil inside the water holding onto that needle. So you can look at it and see straight away it's supplying oil. <laughs> 